You all know, obviously, that Judge Eileen Cannon in Florida is um, overseeing the stolen documents case. And this is the one that everyone's wondering, what's she gonna do? How's she gonna put her finger on the scale? And she is doing it. Um, we're seeing it play out. Not only has she punted this trial, um, which has punted other trials, but she's now issuing weird directives for the jury in this trial. There are some weird instructions. And even though she's not even explicitly said when it's gonna be held, um, here's what she's having um, jurors do uh, by April the 2nd. There's two topics related to defense motions that have uh, to have the indictment just completely dismissed. Be like, you know, we, we wanna do the trial, but also in case the jury would like to throw it out, here's possible ways you could throw out this entire documents case. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. Uh, Cannon asked the prosecutors according to the Washington Post um, and defense attorneys to consider two different hypothetical situations writing. The parties must engage with the following competing scenarios and offer alternative draft text that assumes each scenario to be correct, to be a correct formulation of the law. Okay. So just play out my little fantasy. In the first scenario, Cannon said the jury would be allowed to review a former president's possession of a record and make a factual finding whether it is personal or presidential using the definition set forth in the Presidential Records Act known as the PRA. Confusingly, she also added this footnote that said, quote, any separation of powers or immunity concerns shall be included in this discussion if relevant, meaning, Consider if because he is the president, he is immune from this entire thing. Um, obviously, that's for a judge to decide, not a jury. The second scenario Cannon wants him to consider describes one in which a president has the quote, sole authority under the PRA to categorize records as personal or presidential during his or her presidency. Neither a court nor a jury is permitted to make a review or review such a categorization decision. So. In other words, exactly what Donald Trump has said. Under the Presidential Records Act, I can declassify things with my mind. Think about it. So number one, think about if this is personal or private. Think about if their immunity is even a thing. And then think about whether or not under the Presidential Records Act, we should even be doing this thing in the first place. So that to me is wild. Um, she basically also warned about the Espionage Act and like, how can you use an Espionage Act against the former president? I thought this was for like whistleblowers like Edward Snowden and Julian Assange and such. But she's trying, Sharon. She's really trying to um, pull this one out for DJT. In a bird brain, uh, I could care less about my reputation kind of way. She is doing <laughs> just that. What you just said, uh, quoting her is a mouthful. That really yeah. leads to nowhere except as she said, in this this little brain of 45, regurgitating, as you indicated, exactly what he's requested. That every legal pundit that I've listened to, hell, even a kid taking the LSAT knows is hogwash. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't apply in many instances to the evidence and the facts, the underlying facts as alleged in the government's information here and in the indictment it's just it's just not it's not true okay but yes she is wearing a robe and i believe she is playing the part of a federal judge but the performance <laughs> nah. yeah no and and the like if this trial were to actually go forward and the jury is presented i'm assuming with heavily redacted information or the kinds of things because it won't just be whether or not he withheld. I mean, there's two facets of this, right? I mean, there was clearly, um, uh, you know, an obstruction of justice here because he was asked for months to hand these documents over. But I'm assuming they're going to get insight into and be privy to what kinds of documents. So again, her one of her scenarios is, hey, look at what like Obama took, and then decide. Well. You can't look at what Obama took without looking at what Trump took. You you have to go forward with the trial. Go let let you know um, the defense bring that. That shouldn't be a precursor to a trial or rational or sort of a basis to throw it out. Um, but anyway, I'm probably as versed in the law as Cannon. All I know is <laughs> you can't hide from the DOJ, you idiot. Stop moving boxes around different golden bathrooms 
in your property. 